Hi, I'm Farrell. I talk to a lot of you on the phone and um, I get a lot of inquiries about bifocals, particularly, particularly no line bifocals um, or progressive bifocals. And I do want to go over that. Um, first of all, technically, progressives or no lines is their words that the optical industry sets aside for multifocal where there's three strengths. And um, that's not what this video is about. Um, when people ask me for those, they usually mean bifocals that don't have an obvious line or hidden bifocals. And I am going to review the types of hidden bifocals. So ordinarily bifocals just are designed in such a way that there is an area, usually in the lower third and middle third, where the reader is fused in. And ordinarily it's on the outside of the bifocal so that if you ran your finger down the outside of the lens, you'd feel that ridge, that immediate ridge right there. What um, hidden bifocals do is they make that ridge less obvious that you're wearing bifocals when other people look at you. There's two types of hidden bifocals. There is an inner bifocal and inner bifocals still do have a line, and there is blended bifocal. Well, inner bifocal, that ridge is not on the outside, but if you turn it around, it is on the inside. The reason being that when people wear it, it's less obvious that you're wearing a bifocal. They don't see that line so obviously. No, a lot of times, when you take it out of the box and just look at the glasses and hold them up to the light, you see the line, it's obvious. But if you put your hand right behind it, or obviously you, when you wear it on your face and the lens is right against your skin, that becomes really very much less obvious. Um, with blended bifocal, you don't feel the obvious line it's like sort of gradual, like a little blur spot. And again, that's fused on the inside. So it's even less obvious when people look at you that you're wearing a bifocal. There are pros and cons of each. With the blended bifocal, when you're wearing them, it's kind of harder for your eye to find that line. Um, and there could be a blur spot and they could be harder to adjust to. Um, with the inner bifocal, there is that line and your eye can find it easier to adjust back and forth. But sometimes that line annoys people. When they're looking out, they can kind of see the line and it's annoying. Um, we try to add as many styles as we can of the inner and blended bifocals. Um, but uh, yeah, that's all that I wanted to go over today. So if you have any questions, 